Joe voted for the war uh, in Iraq. I led the effort against it. Joe voted for NAFTA and permanent normal trade relations, trade agreements with China. I held, led the effort against that. I think if you look at Joe's record and you look at my record, I don't think there's much question about who's more progressive. You might be able to start getting used to this. Senator Bernie Sanders taking a shot at Joe Biden. Meanwhile, Real Clear Politics average a poll shows Biden nearly 24 points ahead of Sanders and everybody else. Wow. Donna Brazil, former interim chair for the DNC, Fox News contributor. How you doing? Good morning to you. Oh, good morning. So they're starting to fire inside the tent. How do you <laughs> feel about that? Oh, it's going to backfire. Uh, people know Joe Biden. Joe Biden can walk into a union hall. He can go to a corner grocery store and go to church in a black church. Joe Biden is one of those uh, candidates that people know. They, they respect him. They know his record of leadership. And while there are many progressives in the race, Joe Biden is someone that has not just good, uh, good values, but he's somebody who can speak to progressives as well as moderates and conservatives. Um, so you, are, are, you saying that, are you saying Bernie Sanders should back off then? I'm saying it didn't work in 2016 with what an establishment candidate called Hillary Clinton. She, she received four million more votes. I'm just saying that perhaps the best way to win, if you're not Joe Biden, is to go out there and to talk about your record of leadership, talk about the things that you hope to do to help the American people. But to attack Joe Biden simply for being Joe Biden, that's but not going to th work. This is politics. I mean, you know, I mean, you, of course it's politics. you know the way that works. A Democratic he's a, strategist he's a quoted runner. in The Hill. Here we go. I think people's initial reaction. The concern is that he's out of step with the primary electorate. And, oh, well, uh, I, I well, don't sorry, know that. What were you shooing away there? Was that a Louisiana well, they, I don't fly? Know, I, what was that? I don't know. That was not a Louisiana fly because they don't fly that high. Um, <laughs> they're gut level flies. This was like a big bee that just came after me. So I don't, you know me, I, I don't like things to fly I thought in my you were face. shooing me away, okay? Honey, R no, not you. Not you, Shelly. Ronna McDaniel was with us two hours ago, right? You ready for this? Uh -huh. Roll it. Give okay. this a listen. Here she is. Head of the RNC. I think he's a temporary uh, front runner. He's gotten a bounce because of name ID, because he just launched his campaign. Obviously, he's well known around the country. He has not faced any tough questions, and he certainly hasn't hit that debate stage with those other 20 candidates. How about that? Well, let me just say early. this. I, I, I've been around the block a time or two, and let me tell you something. Joe Biden has also been around the track a time or two. Uh, all I'm saying, Bill, is that Joe Biden is a strong candidate, but he, this is not a cakewalk. He's going to face a lot of competition. And you have some people like Kamala Harris and, of course, Elizabeth Warren and others that believe that the party should go in a different direction. So I'm looking forward to the debates as well. Okay. All right. So they start in about a month's time. What's, here's the yeah. question on impeachment. NBC News, Wall Street Journal, 48% say don't impeach. 32% say keep investigating. And you got a big split on this as well. So I, I don't know how it's managed, but you're going to have this debate inside uh, the Democratic Party. Did you hear what Mayor Pete said? America no. was never as great as advertised. Never as oh. great as ever. What, what do you think about that? Well, perhaps he's starting with the beginnings, the founders, and the key questions that they did not put on the table. I don't think I, I, it's I got a, a slogan for you. What is it? How about America was never perfect, but we're still working on it? Hell yeah, I like that. that you like that? Are you, so are why, you does it, why doesn't he go there as opposed to the place he went? Uh, uh, look, I mean, <clears throat> this guy is a public servant. He has served this country in the military. I respect him. I think he's one of these, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I get so hoarse when I talk to you. I don't know what yeah. you do to my voice, Take Bill. Watch it. Um, but I think that he's one of the leaders of the future. I mean, in terms of the Democratic Party, he has, he has strength. He has stamina, stamina, but I don't know if I would have said the same thing. I have my own way of saying that this is one of the most beautiful places on all of God's earth. And I would hope that everybody would come to appreciate the challenges, the struggles, but how we've overcome them over the last 240 plus years. All right. Amen to that. Go chase that fly, okay? Hey, Donna Bill, Brazil look what I did for you today. Look, look, Bill, look at this. What do you have? Declaration of Independence? What do you got there? No, what this is, is the wrong. This is all is 22. No, this is the 22 <laughs> candidates who are running. Uh -huh. And I, and look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Look how beautiful this looks. You used to look. call those Rolodexes. <laughs> <laughs> I still have white paper. <laughs> got uh, it. 
I, I'm, going out and, I'm going out and enjoy this beautiful spring day without you. But when I get my refreshing ice cream, yeah. I'm going to think of you. You get that Louisiana frog out of your throat, too. Thank you, oh, Donna. Well, we you know see, what? It, we, that's know. a little whiskey. A little whiskey. <laughs> All right, not at this hour. See not you soon. Not this hour. Thank you, All Donna. Right, cool. All Thank right. you.